Okay, I am here with Eamon McChrystal and Chloe Agnew. We're uh, about to enjoy a beautiful concert by these yeah. two people who've been blessed with such beautiful voices. Thank you for taking the time Thank you. to you do this much. interview. Thank you, thrilled to be here. So uh, your tour is almost over. What's it been like going around uh, the country here? We've just had the best time, we've haven't had. we? We've had an amazing few weeks. It's been a lot of work and mm -hmm. a lot of moving. We did 15 shows in 18, 18 days, days, Yes, which was pretty With just one left now. Uh, after New York, we head to Boston. So and we're all very sad that it's I sort know. of coming to the end. But you know, I think you, you have it in your head that it's going to be so much more than you right. think. You think you're going to be exhausted at the end of it. And in actual fact, when you find that you're enjoying yourself so much, you kind of don't want it to end then. Right. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's sad, but yeah. I, I suppose we're all looking forward to Christmas, Absolutely. so that would be nice. And we have a wonderful <laughs> group of people, which makes it so, life so much more it easy. Does. We have a it wonderful does, band does. and great crew and great tour manager, so it's, it's fantastic. And the shows have been just amazing. Yeah. We, we started in Los Angeles and we worked the whole way across the country. Mm -hmm. And the reception and the welcome and the reaction to the show every night has just been mind blowing, yeah. it really has. And every show has been different. It yeah. hasn't been like a scripted show where we do the same thing every night. Every show has had a different feel and a different vibe and we get different energy yeah, from the absolutely. audiences. It's been it's been incredible. It's the magic of live music absolutely. and a live show. Well I think it's the magic that comes out of your mouth that oh, makes wow. the show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> That's very true. And you feel free to pass the money over the table. You <laughs> now I know Amy you released your tenth studio album this year. I did. And the beautiful Chloe is a guest vocalist on it. She is, two nice. wonderful tracks with Chloe. Yeah. 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 So what was that like? Uh, I know you're also an Emmy winner. I know you were the youngest woman to be in Celtic Woman. Yeah. I mean, you guys have a very impressive background. So yeah. what was it like? Um, and when did you first decide you guys were going to be professional singers? And I know you act. And Right. Well, <laughs> jack of all trades, master of none. Ah. <laughs> but uh, Chloe and I um, are both from the PBS family, mm -hmm. which is quite small. But it's really quite interesting that our paths never cross before. before this mm. um, and we were we got together to do um, an event for Detroit Public Television and it was a one-off concert and we realized that our voices worked very well together which for me is very hard to find a female because sometimes I'm higher than them so mm -hmm. duets sound quite odd so yeah. <laughs> no one can sing higher than Chloe Agnew I mean she will give Celine and Beyonce a run for their this money um, and so it, a great match um, and we get yeah. on very well which is also unusual yeah. and so that's <laughs> it was a really bit. easy fit you know it's yeah. one of those things that you feel like you work with somebody and you felt like you've known each other your whole life right. you know and and I think that translates on stage there's a really relaxed comfortable energy um, both on stage and off stage and then when the music works so well together that's the icing on the cake absolutely and uh, you were the youngest uh, woman to ever be in Celtic Woman I you were was. actually a girl at that point yeah uh, what was that like for you to join at such a such a young age I, I mean it was an incredible experience in my life I'm very thankful for it I wouldn't be where I am today without it mm -hmm. I grew into I was born into a music family mm -hmm. um, so I grew up in the business um, and it kind of felt like a natural thing I think for me to do and I was the baby of the group at 14 um, and for almost 10 years I was one of the original girls with the group and it was an incredible incredible time in my life um, but I think for me I, I felt change is good it was time for me to move on and, and pursue solo things in, in life and that's why I'm here which is is amazing. She was always my favourite Celtic woman. And they said, <laughs> of all people you can sing with him, and who do you want? I said, I want Chloe. Yeah. You have to find Chloe. And he did. And if you want to find <laughs> somebody, call your attorney. Because <laughs> <laughs> attorneys can find anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and now, I mean, you have uh, won four Emmy Awards, which is very impressive. How exciting was that for you? You know, the, the Emmys <clears throat> thing still hasn't kicked in. Whenever I walk past and see them at home, it's like they're going to call and say, we've made a mistake. You know, <laughs> we need these things back. See if the name scratches yeah, off. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Um, but they're, they're well glued down at this stage. But um, a huge shock. And we got them in Detroit. Uh, we were up against a Motown show. It was their 25th anniversary, I believe. Um, so we were up against their documentary. We were also up against um, the show that had won the Emmy for that the last 37 consecutive years. So we were sitting back relaxed saying, they're going to win, yeah. it's just going to be a nice night, enjoy the food, yeah. which was amazing. And mm -hmm. we just were sitting around and the next thing they said, the music of Northern Ireland, we, it just still hasn't sank in. And not once, but four times. And But again, it was one of those shows that come together uh, quite easily, all the moving components. We recorded it in Belfast. Uh, we had the great Mr. Nigel Wright, who does all of Andrew Lloyd Webber's uh, scores. He come and did all our music. 
Um, so, you know, we have, again, a great production team. Actually, some of them uh, are st working on our show as mm. well. So it's, uh, we had a great, great time with it. Still can't believe it happened. And it's still airing on PBS, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> well and, deserved. Uh, 2016 is almost over. Yes. Uh, what do you guys have planned for, <laughs> I, right? <Yeah. laughs> what do you guys have planned for 2017? Will you be touring again? Will you be releasing more, more music? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Who knows? I, I think we're, we're trying to see at the end of this year Absolutely. For, to start yes. <laughs> and then figure out 2017 when it happens. <laughs> Crazy, I'm heading yeah. out on the road with the Atlanta Pops Orchestra uh, in March of next year. We're doing a show together. We're doing a couple of dates on the East Coast here. But um, I would do anything to get back on the road with this yeah, guy again. We've I just had such an amazing time touring yeah. together and a, a great bunch of people and a great show. So I hope we'll get to do this again. I hope so too. And uh, you know, we went from LA all the way to Boston, mm -hmm. uh, coast to coast. So we have now the middle bit to do. Yeah, so we, we do indeed. We'll it. have to go back. This guy's going into shooting a movie. Oh, when we finish. so the acting bug yes. has uh, reared its well, head again. Well, I don't know if it, it's a, it's, it's sort of a hybrid, this one. It's a, a Christmas musical. So, and I'm the lead in this one, so it's the first time I've ever had a starring role in a movie, so that's a bit daunting. There's uh, three Academy Award winners that has cameos in it, so that's also no a bit of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I don't know, probably won't have the acting bug after that experience, but we'll see. Be uh, adding Oscars to the, uh, oh, the mantelpiece right. next for Forget Crystal. It. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> now, you guys seem to get along very well. What is one thing um, that the other would be surprised to know about you? Or is there nothing at this point because you've been on tour so That's long? That's a really good question. Do you know what? We've had so many moments on this tour. We're both Geminis, mm -hmm. and we've had so many moments where we look at each other and go, I do that too. too. That's, right. I think that too. Yeah. Like we've had so many moments time. where I think we kind of think a lot similarly. And we Today, do. for example, there was a drum roll. Yeah. And the both of us started to sing the 20th the Century song. Fox. You know, <laughs> da, 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 da. And everyone else Just in the looking, band played something different. Right. And we were like, how, how can funny. you not hear what we're, we're hearing? Here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't know. That would make me think now. Um, I know. I don't, I, I'm really not that Stumps. interesting. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, you know exactly much. what she said right before you came. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> A lot of people have. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We've, we've been on the road now. We've kind of learned a lot about each other yeah, over the last true. few weeks. And yeah. we've been all good. But if we find out, we'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll get back in touch. <laughs> yeah. um, this is probably like trying to pick a favorite child, but do you have a favorite song to perform? Ooh. Whether it be together or separately? One. I love uh, singing We've Got Tonight with Chloe because yeah. it's such a, a lovely arrangement of it and yeah, I've always liked that song. I've loved the melody and everything of it. So I, I like yeah. singing. I like the harmonies and I like the island as well. It's um, a great one. Yeah. Yeah. We also do You Raise Me Up on mm -hmm. this show, which to me, you know, it's a song I've been singing for almost 13 years now and I never get sick of it. I never do true. because the, when you see the effect it has on people in the audience, you can feel that... Mm -hmm love and that energy come back at you and it's a really special feeling you can, you can see how much it means to so many different people yeah. um and i've just always loved singing it and I, I continue to do so and tonight i get to sing a broadway song on, on broadway, broadway. In, a cafe. Very exciting. in a cafe <laughs> yes. it's from waitress too so it's like yes. totally the setup was made for me tonight so i love chloe exciting. chloe sings one of her own songs and i love it it's such a great catchy melody it just yeah it's a great um yeah, Come all ye type song. of song. Yeah, yeah I, I really, I love that. And Eamon does a great cover of Adele's When We Were Young, which wow. is in the show tonight. Very exciting. And it's my favorite yes. song in the whole show, too. It's, so. um... It, it, it was a good idea. Do you want to swap songs? <laughs> yeah. Please. You take mine one, I'll take yours. Yeah. That's I don't right. think Irish is good as you do. I am. <laughs> do you find more pressure when you're performing an original song or when you're performing a song that someone else has already done and you feel like you may have to live up or change it up a little bit? Yeah, for me, that's been something that I've, only since I left Celtic Woman, um, I've always been writing, but it, I really only took the, the courage to, to put it out there in the world when I left Celtic Woman and thought, okay, well, I have to give a little piece of who I really am to people now. And um, yeah, that was a very daunting feeling because you, you kind of don't know how it's gonna be received. And But I've never felt the sense of achievement or reward when people come up to you and say, I love that song. Right. And you you know that it was a part of you that you, you put out there. It's a really amazing feeling. Um, so it's kind of, I've gotten a bug for it now and I'm, I really have a, a desire to, to take songwriting further in life and, and, and do something, hopefully, big and wonderful with it someday but you've got to start somewhere and absolutely having the faith to put it out there into the world is the first step and 
So far, so good. So. Yeah, and I'm a horrific songwriter, so I don't <laughs> ever have this problem. Um, but taking on other people's songs is always a huge thing mm. because, and especially taking on an Adele song where you can turn yeah. on any radio station in the country right now and hear her singing mm -hmm. much better. So it's it's very difficult. Um, uh, you have to, for me, bring something of yourself yes. to it, and you know, if you don't have that connection with the song, the other people won't either. Mm -hmm. So that's always my criteria. Do, do, is it speaking to me? Has this happened to me? Yeah. yeah. You know, and and those things, and can I bring that to it? And yeah, I think that I was the beauty of the choosing the music for this show in particular is that both of us, we we have some great duets together, but the solo songs that we do all have some kind of meaning right, absolutely. in our lives. Mm -hmm. I think for some whatever reason, whether it be just that you love singing the song, I think that translates on stage too, and you totally feel that from an audience. Yeah. They, they know that there's some kind of personal connection, connection there yeah. with it, for whatever reason that may be. Mm -hmm. And you can tell when you hook them right away, right? Probably right as you walk on stage, you, you know yeah. they're in for a ride, right? Yeah. yeah. She, does. Yeah. she yeah. does better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll go out there and tell everybody we have to pay more attention <laughs> there to There you go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah, yeah. ignore Story. the beautiful blonde woman <laughs> on the stage. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> God, Very checks difficult. all around, boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time Thank to do you. this before your show. I'm very excited to see you both perform. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful holiday. Thank, Thank you, you too. Thank you, you too. Thank you.